Welcome back, everyone. My name is Patrick. You're watching the Oilers Rundown. Well, it was an exciting 4-3 overtime victory for the Edmonton Oilers yesterday over the Dallas Stars. Evan Bouchard, obviously the big hero, two goals, including the overtime winner, but Corey Perry staying hot as well. He has goals in two straight games, and hopefully that can continue as the Oilers get set to take on Arizona tomorrow. There has been some other roster changes for the Oilers. We have some new rumors to go over. Let's take a look at all the latest. Head coach Chris Knobloch has made some changes as the Oilers get set to take on the Arizona Coyotes tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. The top two lines remain intact, but Matthias Janmark has been elevated to the third line, playing with Ryan McLeod and Warren Fogle. And Dylan Holloway will center the fourth line, paired with Sam Gagne and Derek Ryan. Connor Brown, in a move that's long overdue, will be a healthy scratch. We can read this as the Oilers trying a few different things ahead of the deadline to see what works. While certainly not a fourth-line player moving forward in his career, don't be surprised if Holloway ends up as the fourth-line center heading into the playoffs, giving the Oilers greater depth. The D pairings remain the same, and Stuart Skinner will get the start and goal. Oilers Access reports that the Oilers had scouts at the Ducks and Leafs game last night, as well as the Blue Jackets and Sharks. As for which players they were scouting, some possibilities could include Sam Carrick of the Anaheim Ducks, a right-shot center target mentioned by Oilers insider Bob Stoffer, Anthony DeClaire of the San Jose Sharks, a winger tied to the Oilers by the fourth period's David Pagnota, or possibly Adam Boquist of the Columbus Blue Jackets, a right-shot D that Sportsnet tied to the Oilers a few weeks back. There are certainly more possibilities, but those are just some names they could be looking at. Once again, if you didn't hear from Friday's report, Boone Jenner of the Columbus Blue Jackets is staying in Columbus and will not be moved. And lastly, Elliot Friedman reiterated on last night's Saturday headlines that the Oilers will not be moving Philip Broberg for a rental at the trade deadline. If he does go, it would have to be for a player with term. Based on everything we know to this point, it sounds like any kind of Broberg trade is highly unlikely, and I won't be surprised to see Broberg on the roster following the moves the Oilers do make at the deadline. We know the Oilers are targeting Chris Tanev of the Calgary Flames and Sean Walker of the Philadelphia Flyers, among others, so it looks like it's almost a certainty there will be movement on the blue line. Well, that's all the latest, guys. Some interesting roster moves there. Hopefully, Corey Perry can stay hot playing with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. Really interested to see that fourth line. Dylan Holloway, Sam Gagne, Derek Ryan. Could be an interesting combination. We know the Oilers would like to make some moves on the third and fourth line. So depending on how those lines look, it will certainly help Ken Holland make some more decisions here going forward as the Oilers get closer to that March 8th trade deadline. Let me know your thoughts on Philip Roberg, some of the other targets I mentioned here. Do you think Chris Tanev is a realistic option for the Edmonton Oilers? Like I've mentioned a few times, I really struggle to see the Oilers and Flames making that deal, but his name keeps coming up in connection to the Oilers. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.